Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, I'm now looking at question number one from the M1 Mechanics January 2022 International A Level Edexcel Pearson's exam. And as I said in previous videos, I'm going to basically go through these questions one by one so that I can classify them according to a playlist which is from this paper and also a playlist for the topic that the particular question is from. All right, so now, question number one is about statics, basically. It says a particle P of weight 5 newtons is attached to one end of a light and extensible string. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point O. Okay, the particle P is held in equilibrium by a force of magnitude F newtons the direction of this force is perpendicular to the string and OP makes an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical as shown in figure 1. Find the value of F and the tension in the string. Now we can do those both at the same time actually. So you have here the forces acting upon this particle are its weight which is acting straight vertically downwards and its weight is 5 newtons. Okay, it's 5 newtons. Sometimes they give you the mass, in which case it would be the mass times g newtons. But this is actually giving you the weight itself. And there's also going to be a tension in this string, okay, around the particle, acting on the particle, the tension is going to be acting in that direction. And those are the forces acting which are keeping this in equilibrium. Okay, so it's a, stat it's a statics question where this thing is in equilibrium. Now, there's two ways to tackle this question. There are two ways to tackle this question. One way would be to resolve the forces horizontally and vertically. And that's what you normally would do in a question of this nature. You would resolve the forces horizontally and vertically. And then you would say that the um, it's an equilibrium, so the forces are balanced out. So... What, what we would do is we'd have to first work out what this angle is here. Okay, now we know that this is vertical, that's vertical. So this angle is 60 over here. All right, if this angle is 60, then this must be 30. So this must also be 60. And this must be 30. Okay, we can say this is 30 degrees. And this is 60 degrees. And we can resolve the forces vertically and horizontally. So for example, I could say that F times cosine 60 is equal to T times cosine 30, and F sine 60 plus T sine 30 is equal to 5. And I'll end up with a pair, two, two simultaneous equations, a pair of simultaneous equations with F and T in it. I can solve them to find F and T. However, I'm not going to go down that road here because there's, a, there's an easier way to deal with this when the forces that you are looking at are perpendicular. So I can see two of these forces are perpendicular to each other. So I'm going to do it a completely different way, which is much easier. What I'm going to do is, instead of resolving the forces horizontally and vertically, I'm going to resolve them parallel to the force F and parallel to the force T. So I'm going to resolve the force, this 5 Newton force basically, parallel to this force and parallel to that force. So I know that this angle here must be, here this, this angle must be 60 degrees because you've got this, what's this called, corresponding angles. That's 60 degrees, okay? We know that, that's, that's 60 degrees. And if I just carry this on a bit here, okay? then I know that this must also be 60, so this is 30. So this part, this angle here is 30 degrees. It must be 90 degrees here, yeah. Okay, so I know this is 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees. Now with that in mind, let me just show the steps here. Let me just draw the forces a bit better here. Okay, so this is your 5 Newtons. And... We can resolve the 5 Newtons in the, these two directions. I'm just going to draw it in 
you will have this direction and that direction. And as I mentioned, this must be 60 degrees and this must be 30 degrees. Here's 60. So if I resolve the forces in the direction of F, in this direction, okay, well, this force here, this tension here, okay, this tension here has no component in that direction. Okay, it has no component in that direction. Okay, this tension only has a component in this direction. Okay, um, and the F has... Well, you've got F here, and it's in equilibrium, so that's equal to 5 times. Now, if you resolve the force 5 newtons in this direction, in parallel to F, it's going to be 5 times cosine 30, because you're going into the angle. If you're going into the angle, it's cosine away from the angle sine. So that's going to give you what F is straight away. Okay, so that's going to be part A, basically. So F equals 5 times cosine 30, which is 5 times root 3 over 2. Okay, so we can write that answer down straight away. 5 times root 3 over 2. And that gives us 4.33 newtons. And then we can resolve the forces in the direction of the tension. Now again, in this case, the F has no co no component in this direction because it's perpendicular. But you've got the tension is equal to, and you've got five times, this time cosine 60. So that's going to be five times a half, which is 2.5 newtons. So there we have the answer to part A and B. And that's the answer to the whole question. So it makes it very simple. If the forces that you, if you have forces which are perpendicular to each other, and you try to resolve them in the same direction as each other, they're going to become zero. <clears throat> so instead of resolving the forces horizontally and vertically, when you see this, you can resolve the forces in the direction or the, in the weight in the direction of those other two forces which are perpendicular, and you don't have to form a pair of simultaneous equations. Okay, so that's something that makes life a lot easier. Okay, it makes life way easier for yourself to do this. Okay, the other method will also give you the same answer, but it's going to take you a bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to show you, just for the sake of your understanding, the other method as well, but I would advise you not to use that method. I would advise you to use the method I'm showing you now. So as I said, you can resolve the forces horizontally and vertically, which I wouldn't do, but I'm just showing you for the sake of making it clear. You have your five newtons acting this way. And as I said, this angle is 30. There's a the tension in acting the string over here. This angle is going to be 60 degrees. Okay. Because that's 60, that's 30, that's yeah. That's right. Okay, so we have, um, if we resolve horizontally, we'll have F cosine 60 equals T cosine 30. And if I resolve vertically, I'll have F, um, yeah, I'll have F sine 60, so T sine, T sine 30, plus F sine 60 is equal to 5. All right, so we can um, solve this equation simultaneously. So we can say this is going to be a half F equals root 3 over 2 T. So we can say F equals root 3 2 T, sorry. And this is T times sine 30, which is a half T equals... And this is, um, sorry, half t plus root 3 over 2 f is equal to 5. And we can replace f with root 3 over 2. So you have a half times t plus, and you can replace this with root 3 over root 3 t, t 
equals 5. So you end up with a half t plus 3 over 2t equals 5. A half plus 3 over 2 is 4 over 2, so that's 2t equals 5. So t equals 2.5, um, which is 5 over 2. So f is equal to root 3 times 5 over 2, which is exactly the same answer that we got up here. 5 times root 3 over 2. Okay, so we can get the same answers using resolving horizontally and vertically. It's not a big deal, but it's much easier to resolve the forces in the direction of the forces which are pa uh, perpendicular to each other. You don't have to form a pair of simultaneous equations then. Okay, so both answers give us exactly the same result. Both methods give us exa exactly the same result. But this one is way less hassle to use than this one. Okay, so there's the answer. To question number one um, from this January 2022 paper. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area and other questions from this topic of statics can be found in the playlist that, that will appear somewhere over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching.